we're going to look at two-point perspective. Two-point perspective is one of my favorite things because it makes you look like you really know what you're doing. It's pretty dang easy. Materials I'm using, regular computer paper. I prefer art paper, but I didn't have any at home today. I've got just a regular HB pencil with an eraser. I really like to use different erasers. Sometimes this is a good one. My favorite, I love the kneaded eraser. Um, with the kneaded eraser, I just always make sure it's nice and warm. This tends to be really gentle. It doesn't eat up my paper. Then a ruler. The big thing about the ruler is you just got to make sure it reaches all edges of your paper. No matter what size the paper is. Make sure your pencil is nice and sharp. Sometimes people like to use a mechanical pencil. Those are really nice as well. Sometimes I just get excited and tend to break that mechanical pencil. Okay. First thing you're going to do is draw a straight line on your page. This is your horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky meets the land. I've got two points at the edge of my paper. These are my vanishing points. I like to make an X and where it intersects is where that vanishing point is. Therefore my VP. The very basics of two-point perspective is the box. We're going to go over three different kinds of box. boxes. Sorry. So what I'd like to talk about first, let me just straighten my screen out. Um, I kind of just eyeballed my horizon line. Sometimes if you're really picky and that drives you nuts, you can measure down your paper. Make a point here and a point here and draw the line straight across using your ruler. You always do want to use your ruler on these though. You're going to start with your box on the horizon line. So I'm just going to go like an inch above and an inch below. Again, I just eyeballed my vertical line and if that drives you nuts, you can measure it from the sides and make sure it's straight. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vanishing points. I want to draw really light because we're going to be erasing some lines. So I'm going to make sure that I take the top of my vertical line and the bottom of my vertical line and match it up to each vanishing point. And make sure that I get dead center on the vanishing point. If I go off a little bit on that vanishing point, like if I put it down here and draw my line, it's going to make it skewampus and we do not want that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw the edge of my box on the left and then on the right. What's funny about that? That's the left, that's right. And then I want to erase any lines that I wouldn't see if this box was solid. If it's a glass box, sure. That can get a little bit confusing. And then I'm going to erase these vanishing points that I don't need. I didn't mean that. I mean the lines going to the vanishing point. And this is going to be our first box. Then what I can do is I can go back through, and I'm just going to freehand this, and I can just darken up my lines for my box. And I'm just doing this to be quick. And it makes it look a little sloppy if that drives you crazy. My apologies. Now I can also decide where my light source is. Let's say this is my light source. Look at that tiny little sun. And it would hit this side, that side's going to be a little bit lighter, and this side would be darker. And that looks really nice and three-dimensional. Now I want to put a box above the horizon and below the horizon. So we're going to start with the same thing. We've got our nice vertical line above, and let's put it to this side below. Same step for the very first. I'm going to go a little bit quick, drawing really lightly so that I can erase those lines. Okay, now what I want to do is decide how big or thick I would like my box. And because it is a box, I want it to be fairly close on both sides. Now I want to erase these lines solely because too many lines gets a little confusing. And I can draw these a little bit darker, but I don't want to do that right now. I'll do that later. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about it. I'm in the sky. And I've got this little human standing right here. And this human's going to look up at the box and it's going to see the bottom side. So now I know I'm working only with the bottom, not the top. Because again, this is a solid box, not a glass box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my furthest point, I'm going to go to the opposite side, vanishing point. Vanishing point on the right, my opposite furthest point on the box on the bottom would be my very left side. And I'm going to draw light all the way through, but sometimes I don't 
erase those lines. So I know that it intersects here. So did you see how I kind of just drew the line and I can stop? If that's too confusing, draw all the way through and then just do a bunch of erasing. So now I'm going to go through. I'm going to erase the lines that I don't need. And I'm going to darken these up again. This time I'm going to use my ruler because it actually does bug me. And I'm going to remember where my light source is and shade that in. I can really take my time and shade that in later. Okay, and then this is my light side, and this might be a little bit darker too down here. Nice. Okay, let's go below the horizon. Very same principle. We are going to oops, make my boxes the sides first. And because I've talked to you about erasing and it's not my passionate favorite, I'm going to stop because these are boxes and not beams. And I'm not going to draw them all the way to the edge, but we are going to decide how thick we want these. Okay. And again, I'm easily confused. Let's take care of your edges. Oh my gosh, how much do I love a kneaded eraser? Okay, now we've got my human. It's looking at this box. It's not going to see the bottom like we did here because it's not in the sky, it's below, so it's going to see the top. So we're going to take the furthest point from the right vanishing point on that box, which is my very left side. And again, super light. Opposite vanishing point, opposite point to the box. And erase any unwanted lines. Okay, and I'm going to go through and darken those up. And now what we've created is a box on the horizon, above the horizon, ding dong, below, boom. And you almost look like a true architect. Okay, now I would shade these in if I want to. My light would really hit that side, so I could just make a really light skiff over here. But if I did it here, I'd need to do it there as well, so stay true to your shading. Okay, I feel confident that you guys could do that. It's pretty simple. 